हेलो वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला द मॉड्यूल डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी इनिशिएटिव्स इन इंडिया इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द मॉड्यूल द फर्स्ट पार्ट हैज कवर्ड द प्रॉब्लम एनकाउंटर्ड फॉर डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी इनिशिएटिव्स इन इंडिया एंड मेजर डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी इनिशिएटिव्स इन इंडिया द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द मॉड्यूल will elaborate on initiatives taken towards library consortia open courseware metadata harvesting services etc information is considered as the fulcrum for power and prosperity it is very essential for economic and social development of the society the revolution in information and communication technology has started delivering information in digital format with greater speed and economy which triggered development of the digital library the open source software movements added newer avenues for greater expansion of digital libraries worldwide the popularity of the word digital library can be traced to the digital library initiatives dli that was started in 1994 as a joint initiative of the national science foundation nsf the department of defense advanced research projects agency darpa and the national aeronautics and space administration nasa the landmark initiatives that led the path towards the digital library movement are the mercury project at cmu core project at cornell university the tulip project and envision at cornell institute of digital collection open book project at yale university network digital library of thesis and dissertation ndltd the national science mathematics engineering and technology education digital library the nsdl institutions can acquire access to ever growing digital collections for their libraries either directly or through library consortia access to digital collections either directly or through library consortia can be considered as a major component of digital library collection infrastructure let's take a view of major library consortia in india which provides access to peer reviewed journals to their member institutions the ugc infonet digital library consortium was launched by mr apj abdul kalam the then president of india in december 2003 the consortium provides access to current as well as archival access to more than 8500 core and peer reviewed electronic journals and 10 bibliographic databases from 28 publishers scholarly societies and aggregators including university presses in different disciplines to 206 core member universities and 204 institutions covered under associate membership program these e resources cover almost all subject disciplines including arts humanities social sciences physical sciences chemical sciences life sciences computer sciences mathematics statistics etc the indest or the indian national digital library in engineering sciences and technology consortium was set up by the ministry of human resource development in the year 2003 to provide access to peer reviewed journals and 10 bibliographical databases to technical institutions including iisc iits nits iims and a few other centrally funded government institutions the national knowledge resource consortium the nkrc established in the year 2009 is a network of libraries and information centers of 39 csir 
and 24 DST institutes. NKRC facilitates access to more than 8,000 e-journals of all major publishers, patents, standards, citation and bibliographic databases to its member institutions. The Ministry of Communication and Information Technology MCIT consortium caters to information requirements of nine institutions including NIC, CDAT and CDOT with its offices in multiple locations. Set up in 2005 with funding from the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology, the consortium provides access to 1818 e-journals and 14,000 e-books to its member institutions. The Department of Atomic Energy Consortium, set up in 2003, caters to the information requirements of 36 institutions including BARC, TIFR and SAMEER. The consortium provides access to 2,000 peer-reviewed e-journals from four publishers to its member institutions. Electronic Resources in Medicine ERMED, consortium was set up in 2008 to develop a nationwide electronic information resource in the field of medicine for delivering effective healthcare for all. DRDO e-journal consortium was established in January 2009 to provide access to e-resources to the SNT community of DRDO. The consortium is governed by a monitoring committee having the representatives from different subject clusters and headquarters. It provides access to 568 full text e-journals to 50 DRDO labs. The DBT e-library consortium, also called DELCON, is funded by the Department of Biotechnology. Established in 2009, the consortium provides access to more than 600 journals and bibliographic databases to 33 member institutions which include 14 DBT institutions and 18 institutions located in Northeast region and Biotechnology Industry Research Assistant Program. CERA or the Consortium for E-Resources in Agriculture, an ambitious initiative from IARI aims to provide scholarly information in the broad spectrum of agricultural sciences to foster academic quality research amongst its institutes and other agricultural universities. It provides access to 1,766 peer-reviewed e-journals and three bibliographic databases. The project entitled National Library and Information Sciences Infrastructure for Scholarly Content or NLIST is funded by the Ministry of Human Resource Development under its National Mission of Education through ICT. It was formally launched by Honorable Union Minister of Human Resource Development, Mr. Kapil Sibal, on 4th May 2010 at Shastri Bhavan, New Delhi. It is being jointly executed by the UGC InfoNet Digital Library Consortium, the InfoNet Center and the Indest AICTE Consortium, IIT Delhi. The Enlist programs provide access to more than 6,000 e-journals and 97,333 e-books to colleges. National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning NPTEL, is an open courseware initiative by seven Indian Institutes of Technology and the Indian Institute of Science. This initiative is funded by the Ministry of Human Resource Development. The main objective of this program is to enhance the quality of engineering education in the country by developing more than 200 curricula based video and web courses. The Indira Gandhi National Open University or IGNO has initiated the establishment of a national digital repository of learning resources called eGyan Kosh. 
This repository envisages to store, index, preserve, distribute, and share the digital learning resources of open and distance learning institutions in the country. The repository supports seamless aggregation and integration of learning resources in different formats such as self-instructional study materials, audio-video programs, and archives of radio and television-based live interaction sessions. Consortium for Educational Communication, CEC, has established the Learning Object Repository, LOR, to provide worldwide access to qualitative learning resources. The LOR is a bank of short-duration reusable learning objects for special benefits to students and teachers for face-to-face -face learning as well as to other users globally. EPG Patshala, funded by the MHRD or the Ministry of Human Resource Development under its National Mission on Education through ICT. High-quality, curriculum-based, interactive content in 77 subjects is being developed under this initiative. The Ministry of Human Resource Development under the NME ICT has allocated funds to the CEC for development of e-content at undergraduate level. The content will be created in two phases. In phase 1, it covers 19 subjects and in phase 2, it will cover 68 subjects. Metadata Harvesting Service harvests or indexes metadata from OAI compliant archives or repositories through harvesting software that supports a protocol known as OAI PMH or Open Access Initiative Protocol for metadata harvesting. Metadata harvesting services experimented by Indian institutions are Open Archive Initiative is a cooperative initiative to index social science literature published in India. It is implemented by Indira Gandhi Institute of Development Research, Mumbai. Open Archive Initiative is a cooperative initiative to index social science literature published in India. The SDL currently has 40,954 records from 18 national and international repositories in areas of information management, knowledge management, documentation, communication and ICT. TKDL is a collaborative project of the National Institute of Science, Communication and Information Resources, the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, the Ministry of Science and Technology and Department of Ayush and the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, which is being implemented at NISCARE. The project documents the public domain traditional knowledge related to Ayurveda, Unani and Siddha in five international languages, namely English, German, French, Japanese and Spanish. The archives of Indian labor were created by the VV Giri National Labor Institute and the Association of Indian Labor Historians. The archive preserves documents, builds collections and initiates research in labor history.